We all go through challenges in life. There are so many situations that have caused us pain. Join us as we watch this video as Apostle Femi Lazarus explains explicitly on things that won't go away. Thank you. Somebody say, Mary Art. Do it good like medicine, but a broken spirit dries the bones. So let's look at what Amplified Translation says. Amplified Translation says, A happy heart is good medicine, and a cheerful mind works healing, but a broken spirit dries up the what bones a broken spirit dries up what the bones broken spirit say loud and clear I'm a, I'm a very happy person i'm not a sadist Look at what the Bible says in Proverbs 12, verse 25. Proverbs 12, 25 says, Heaviness in the heart of a man makes it stoop, but a good word makes it glad. Let me read um, Amplified. Or let me read Good News. Is that Okay. Good news translation. I want to advise that you download as many Bible translations as possible in your devices. Is that okay? God is not anti technology, provided we use technology to do what is right. Is that okay? To get as many renditions, particularly the Passion translation. Now, look at what the Bible says Proverbs 12, verse 25. Good news translation says, Worry can rob you of happiness but kind words will cheer you up okay somebody say worry can rob you of happiness uh -huh. but kind words will cheer you up yes so it means that you can practically lose the sight of cheerfulness or the graciousness of your spirit because you are worried. And, I mean, many things can make a person worry. Maybe the consciousness that the time for something is passing. For a student that the deadline for the school fees is about to pass, going to be worried okay most times what i'm trying to show you is that worrying has to do with timeline what did i say timeline sometimes it could be while planning your life you have set a time that by so and so time this should have happened but the bible says our times are in his hands Okay, then he makes all things beautiful in their time. Ecclesiastes 3, 11 and 12. And in their season. So the things you have planned, he has time. A portion for them. So the Bible says anxiety leads to depression. And that's why we're encouraged to be anxious for nothing. Okay? Anxiety. Ah, it's real. Okay? It's real. I don't like to preach like one who fell from the clouds. Anxiety is real. When you are expecting certain things to happen and they are not happening, you'll be anxious, agitated. And when that is happening, you don't have joy. 
Okay? You don't have joy. You can't find it. You are sad. You are pained. Sometimes disturbed. I love the way God's word translation puts it. Says, a person's anxiety will weigh him down. But an encouraging word makes him joyful. And sometimes when people are anxious, they just want to be alone. When you ask them what they are doing, they say, I'm sorting my life. I'm going to show you another scripture. Look at what the Bible says in Proverbs chapter number 15, verse 13. Proverbs chapter number 15, verse 13. says, A merry heart makes a cheerful countenance, but by sorrow of the heart, the spirit is broken. So there's no such thing as people are asking you that. Don't let me say, sister, brother, why don't you smile? Say, that's the way my face is. All the things that God made, he said they are good. And this face is confusing us. Do you understand what I'm saying? Say, I'm, I'm like that. <laughs> you are not like that. You are worried. Look at the story we read about Elijah. And we're studying Jezebel. When Jezebel said, I will cut off your head. What did Elijah say? He said, what am I better than my forefathers? He said, kill me now. Let me die. What did God do? He gave him food. We underrate the power of good food. Calm down. <laughs> I, 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 honestly, I don't know how sad. Some, some guys have been cooking beans for the past two weeks. You think they are still in Awo? You know Awo? Okay, don't know Awo. We boil a ring. They are saving power. Sometimes we underrate the power, the ability to just celebrate your small wins. The people who can't enjoy their money because they said they want more. If they die, people will spend that money. Oh. My God. You saved from January to December last year. You were lean. And we are not against saving, but you have started again. Every time you take yourself to a boutique to buy a simple shirt, you feel guilty. But when you buy a book, you're happy. For your mind, you are serious. <laughs> you wonder why you read that book. You see, I have no impact. I used to be like that. When I go to buy books, I'll be so happy. <laughs> if I want to buy shit, it's more than one five. See, count me out of it. If you ask me, that's how to be holy. You will read all the book. You can't bless anybody. Tell your neighbor, celebrate yourself. Mm. Tell our neighbor, celebrate yourself. Because if you don't learn to do it, when people do it, you think they are doing you a favor. Mm. Celebrate yourself. When we say you are important, it's not a news. Are you not? It's not news. It should not be. Say, ah, you look good. Say, really? Ah. So you didn't think you look good. And this is the reason why you give people permission to hurt you. Because you have no conclusion until they make theirs. Say it loud and clear, I am important. Look at the way they are saying it. Okay, clap for yourself. Amen. If I say clap for apostle now, you did better. But this is you. With all the things you have survived, don't you think you deserve a round of applause? Yes. Abba. Ah. Very important. Too. 
Amen. The things you have gone through, we don't know how you survived it. But we are glad you are here. And you deserve some accolades. <laughs> You're going somewhere. Okay? Thank you, Lord. Let's say thank you, Jesus. Let's say it again. Look at it. That same Proverbs 15 verse 13. Good news translation. It says, when people are happy, they smile. But when they are sad, they look depressed. There are people I've never seen smile once. You know, one time we were going to, I was serving. So they said one of our GGG prayer. If you never stay in family house, you will not understand that language. I was the prayer. So there was the GGG prayer. Was getting married. So as the prayer, I qualified to be among the men in suit. Because the men in suit was full of the prayers. I've never in my life been in such wedding before. The, the is it chief groom's maid now? The man that best man the best man I've never seen that kind of best man come this is the groom joining together in holy matrimony what should the best, best man be either by his side holding the mic or here right the best man was like this <laughs> Shaka, baka, baka. hey was looking like a baka My life left me. I was curious. Did they say that it was the assumption of witches that was gathering? Is this strong face that makes you on fire? Like once you are smiling, you are not, your fire is reduced. Africans. I'm telling you, the groom has not eaten for like how many days now? We were all supporting him. So he doesn't pass out. And once he pass out, no medical knowledge to resuscitate him, they will say it's an attack. People have died. They fasted themselves to death without understanding. Say it's an attack. How the guy they propose, I don't know. Please be seated. And there are brothers in church that sisters bounce no. Because they look like the future they are running away from. They look like the future God didn't promise them. It looks like when you marry this guy, you'll be sad. Meanwhile, the guy is a happy person. When he's within his friends, very cheerful. But in order to look holy, to impress the sister, lose the virtue of joy. Your sadness and your stone cold look impresses nobody. The first time I asked the sister out, so that was my mistake. I started talking to her from 12.30 after service. I said, bring a chair, I want to talk to you. <laughs> that was how I said, bring a chair inside. Come and meet me, I want to talk to you. <laughs> she came thinking, oh, mentorship, mentorship. I spoke till 5.30 something. She said, I still don't understand what you're saying. <laughs> I said, with over 17 Bible passages I've opened, what was I meaning when I said that one would chase a thousand, two would chase? We ask them out scripturally and we get no. Say, I'm sorry, sir, you're my pastor, but no. And the girl will still come to church. Sit down and then painfully come follow another brother again. The one you are mentoring. But that is happier than you. If you see my old pictures, if I stand here, we have been doing distance, what do they call it now? Huh? This, social, we have been doing social distance before COVID. If we stand like this, and a sister wants to stand, the next tiles, leave 